Let's talk about some of the real interesting benefits from the sun that go beyond just vitamin D. So as you know, when the sun hits your skin, there's certain chemical reactions that occur that generate vitamin D from cholesterol in your skin. So people are always against cholesterol, but you need cholesterol to actually make vitamin D. Okay, so there's a lot of benefits to cholesterol. But check this out. When the sun hits your skin and the retina, okay, through your eye, you get a chemical conversion of increasing serotonin. And serotonin can greatly affect your mood. And this is why, of course, when you're in the sun, you feel much better. And when the winter comes and it's dark, you don't feel that great if it goes on and on. In fact, when I originally graduated from college, I wanted to go and live in Washington State. Okay, It was just beautiful there. And I just loved the whole scenery and, the, and how green the grass was. Well, little did I know the reason why it's so green is it rains so much. In fact, for six months, I don't think the sun came out at all. And I got really depressed. So I moved from Washington State down to California, actually right next to the Mojave Desert to dry out all the sun. And my mood definitely went up. So there is a relationship between the sun and your mood via certain hormones. Okay, number two it affects melatonin and actually reduces melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that helps you sleep. So darkness stimulates melatonin, but light, sun, will decrease this. This makes you sleepy. So the sun wakes you up. Okay, so another benefit. Number three, the heat from the sun and the humidity that's generated from the sun and also the environment has the power to decrease viral loads even from COVID-19. And this is where you're going to see as you go into the summer, you're going to find that a lot of people are going to do much, much better simply because the reproduction of that virus is affected by the temperature and the humidity of the environment. And this is why these viruses a lot of times are seasonal, like uh, influenza comes out in the winter, but kind of goes away in the summer. Now, number four, UV. This is a, a wavelength that you're getting from the sun that has antibacterial effects. And this has nothing to do with vitamin D. UV inhibits the growth of certain bacteria and other microbes, even through glass. It can actually inhibit tetanus, typhoid, TB, staph, strep, and many other microorganisms. All right, number five, the sun will increase resistance to infection. So it helps your immune system. All right, number six, the infrared wavelength of the sun is great for wound healing and decreasing pain. There's many different types of therapy using infrared. And if you haven't seen the benefits of vitamin D from the sun, you got to check that out. I put it right here.